on the official television station of Illini Sports. This is WCIA 3 Sports and your Illini Nation. I would assume it was leaving a legacy that will be talked about for a long time. The sophomore added another chapter of the Illini March Madness curse he's on a mission to end by returning from what looked to be a season-ending injury and leading the Illini to a win at Penn State. WCI3's Craig Schott was in Happy Valley, wraps up our coverage from Penn State and the team's success on the road. With the win over Penn State on Tuesday, the Illini have now won four Big Ten games on the road this season. That's tied for the most in the conference with Maryland and these Nittany Lions. After the game, Io DeSumo was quick to thank the Penn State crowd for a little added juice. He was talking to me. The players was talking to me. The crowd was talking to me. You know, I like that. They get me going. I like it. When I get in that mode where they talking to me, it's like, the, the rims get bigger and bigger. Once DeSumo got in that mode, he made those fans hit the exits early as he put the game on ice. It's the fifth time this season that DeSumo has hit a shot in the final minute of a one possession game that led to a win. Three of those five have been on the road, but none bigger than this one. It's up there, you know, four game loser streak, top 10 team in the country, number nine. I mean, they won eight in a row on their home court. You know, reading tweets, seeing um, all the blogs. No one expected us to win this game. That's a top 10 team he did that against on the road. And a team that's really had our number in the last few games. Absolutely. That's right there at the top. The win is the first against Penn State since January 2015 and the first in Happy Valley since February 2014. But in the here and now, it breaks a four-game losing streak. The Illini were slipping closer and closer to the bubble. But don't think for a second they were desperate. We're not desperate. I mean, we're, we're not even not not even. I, I think there was some urgency, no doubt about that. But desperate's never in my vocabulary. We all just came together, uh, coaching staff, man, players. Uh, you know how big uh, road wins are. Uh, we just came out and gave it our all and got another one. The Illini alternate between home and road games from here on out. The only two games left away from the State Farm Center are at Northwestern and Ohio State. Reporting in State College, Pennsylvania, for your Alina Nation, Craig Shope, WCI 3 Sports. Craig, thanks. Here's a look at the Big Ten standings. They're a five way tie for third between Iowa, Rutgers, Illinois, Michigan State, and Wisconsin, with five games to go. A lot left to play for as the top four teams in the league are vying for that double bye in the Big Ten tournament. Illinois women's basketball.